Alright guys, welcome back to the garage. We are changing gears. We're taking all these down. Change the battery first. And then once we get these down, we can take this all down. I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, welcome back to the garage. We are going to change it up a little bit today. We are going to get ready to go bow hunting. So, we're going to make a target. And we're going to hang it on this door right here. And as you can see, I've taken down all the car and bus emblems. And all my license plates. And we're going to make a styrofoam target. And we're going to put it right here. Alright? So, let's go Let's go take care of the styrofoam target now. Here we go, guys. Alright guys, here's the foam. Alright guys, there you go. The target is made. A little red dot. We're gonna be shooting from back there 25 yards. Alright, so we got that made. We got PSE. We're gonna get it out, get the arrows, and I'll get back with you. Okay guys, got this in, I believe, 2000. And it's a 99. I've killed one deer with this bow. The rest of them have been with my shotgun. Last year I got my first muzzleloader. So, I'd really like to get a couple deer this year. So, let's see what we can do with this right now. I'm going to shoot one arrow, and then we're going to see where it is. I don't shoot peep sight. I don't like a peep sight. i got a kisser button. This is the release I got. We're at 26 yards right here. Alright, I'm going to show you where it hits, which is not bad. Could be better. That's where we're at. So I'm going to do a little bit of shooting and I'll get back with you. All right, guys. The, I've shot three sets of five. Um, second grouping was the best. I took pictures of that and put it on Instagram. Um, this last round's not bad neither. Actually, these four arrows right here, I only got one off to the, to the left. Um, but even still, that's close to paper plate size. So we're going we're gonna to do that all this week and uh, on this new target and get ready. Thursday night, maybe. Friday night, possibility. Um, Saturday, I'm supposed to go out to my cousin's and uh, muzzle load, uh, sight of muzzle loaders, because that's what we use for gun season. And um, I might sneak out. I might sneak out Saturday night too. We'll, we'll see. Um, but it's time. It's beyond time. So I'm gonna shoot one more group of this, and then that's it for this afternoon. And then when I get done working, I might shoot a few more. Um, I don't think I shot the bow last year. I just used just used the cousin's uh, crossbow. I killed a doe with it, and the year before that, I killed a doe. Um, so, yeah. So we'll we'll leave you right there. We'll see how the grouping looks today after work. I don't want to, you know, shoot too much and wear the arm out right off the bat. So I am getting old. So I'll get back with you tonight. Welcome to the garage, everyone. Um, it's November first. I've got my deer tags, and I'm on my way to my spot. I'm pretty excited. The weather is right. Uh, full moon phase hardly any wind whatsoever uh, and the deer are moving in my area um, a lot of corn is coming down so I will uh, I will get with you when we uh, get to my spot see you in a minute all right guys I'm on my way in I'm pushing on the time so I'm not gonna talk much there's always deer tracks on the way in always going from one coming from across the road that way into this field in the woods there's always track I usually always see something. Just like I said, how close is it going to be? So, I don't know if they've got anything set up for gun season or hunting at all. You have the people who hunt here, I can see. I don't know if that's their little pop up blind way across the field or not. But I'm getting ready to go in right here. Usually along the edge right here. There's some kind of pop up blind, but I don't see one. So, I guess we'll see what we see when I get inside. I'll get back with you. Okay, guys, I'm almost there. This is where I hunted last year. I shot a doe out of here. But there's no room to draw back. There's another tree stand. Straight ahead, maybe 20 yards. There's still a lot of leaves up, so there's still a lot of cover. That's where I'm going. Alright, guys. It's 421. I just got in stand. Bumped two deer. On the way in, good size. Two and a half, three and a half. I'm pretty sure they were both does. The first one could have been a buck. I didn't get a good look at him.
Okay, guys. <clears throat> I'm probably not going to be able to get back on here until after dark. So, <clears throat> I'm signing off for right now. You know, unless I get something. I'll talk to you when we're back at the Jeep. Later. Alright, guys. Another day, another dollar. I'm in a different spot. I got about another hour. Let you know what's going on. Nothing so far. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick. It's the next day. I like the stand. On the way in, I spooked something. All I seen is a flag. That's all I seen, I don't know. I think it was just a lone deer. But on that note, on the way in, there, I seen a, a scrape that was just freshened up. And a couple of rubs that looked like uh, they might have been visited recently. So, um, I'm in the stand. I'm ready to go, so I will uh, get back with you in a little bit. All right, guys, all settled in. Got the crossbow all set. I'm all hunkered down. Got my water, snacks. This shout out to Randall, all the way down in Naples, Florida. Gotta get up here and go hunting, buddy. Take it easy. Talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, not too good at the hunting videos. All I have is my camera. So I do have two bucks down. Well, a buck, a button, a buck. I thought it was a doe. Anyway, um, I'm out. Alright guys, we're going in silent mode. Right where the camera's pointing at right now is where the buck came up that I shot on the 16th. Right there. Right in the middle of the screen. Came out, stood right there, moved the gun over. Boom. 100 yards into the field to the, to the west. A little bit and to the south, right there. Came out right there. I shot him. He ran into the next row and into the field. All right, so that's where we're at. Well, guys, I just found out that there's no combine running this corn that I'm sitting on, so we're just gonna sit tight and see what happens. So uh, I heard there's some big bucks that were uh, moved out of some corn the other day, so I can only hope that one comes out of this corn or goes into the corn and comes a mile away. So yeah, we're sitting here waiting patiently. Beef. I found the beef. That's venison. Chunk. Beef. Beef. Venison. Beef. Welcome back to the garage, YouTube. It has been a while. I've been busy. I've been hunting. I got a couple projects that I'm getting ready to start, finish, what have you. But uh, I shot three deer this year so far. And before hunting season started, I ordered a half cow. Actually, a whole cow because I had two other people want beef. So. So, I'm going to show you what's going on, okay? All right, guys, a little compilation of the videos that I did for hunting this year. Don't have the equipment for my phone or a camera and mounts for any of my guns or my bows, crossbows. So, we'll try to, try to get that next year. Um, state land, two of the biggest deer I've ever seen. One, 80 to 100 yards out. If I hadn't been looking that way, I wouldn't have seen them. The one I seen first, I'm going to say it was a nice eight, but he I seen him at about 50 yards coming in, no shot, and then he went back into the brush. Always see deer out here, always. Uh, last year, um, I seen a few deer. Two years ago, I missed a small, uh, a small buck, kind of glad I missed him. Always see deer out here. Um, not going to give up. Gun season's out of the question. Took a walk around and just too many, too many people. Um, set up for gun season, so it won't do it. Uh, tree stand that I was in was good because um, it was somebody else's. They gave me permission last year, um, but I only sat on it twice this year. So I'm not giving up on that spot, and I'm probably going to shed hunt and scout it uh, next month, maybe towards the end, towards the end of February. Uh, Williamston, the guy that gave me permission to hunt out there, him, his son, and his brother. This year they got three bucks. Two of them were seven point, I can't remember what the other one was, and a doe. So I had a great year in Williamston. I had a doe come in with two small fawns. They were this year, 
2017s, they were they were barely lost their spots. So uh, tried to get a shot on. I'm glad I didn't. Um, didn't really hunt out there that much this year. So the last weekend of October, we sighted in muzzle loaders. I don't use my shotgun since last year. I, I haven't pulled the shotgun out. I use muzzle loader uh, scope on it. Um, last year uh, during muzzle loader, I uh, got the first deer in, in Williamston. Um, for bow season uh, last year, I got uh, a buck. This is the one sitting right there. Um, he was he had a busted leg. He's he was a two and a half year old deer. Um, opening day was horrible, absolutely horrible. Didn't see nothing. Uh, cousin seen something across the other field. Second day, I had my buck come out maybe 20 yards out of the corn. Moved the moved the muzzle loader, shot him. He ran off into the corn, the cut corn field. 80 to another 100 yards dropped. Another deer came in. I reload the muzzle loader, run towards my deer, reload the muzzle loader, got a bead on it. No rack. Figured it was a doe, shot, button buck. Go figure. Um, I'm going to do better at, at looking at deer next year. I, I am getting better. Uh, only been hunting since like 98. So, um, into muzzle loader season, same spot, Keebler blind. Um, Deer came out, four of them. Uh, I picked the biggest one. Heart shot at 80 yards. She ran probably another 80. The other three deer, late last year's deer, what I'm thinking, because they were bigger than the ones in Williamston. Um, they were still standing there. I was sneaking in. I uh, wanted to make sure she was dead. Sure enough, they ran off. There she laid. I was going to finish hunting, so I left her lay there. I was going to finish hunting, so I went back. And on my way back, a coyote ran across the field. Man, I want to shoot one of those. Uh, cousin said that maybe uh, maybe we'll get the, the calls out and uh, do a little bit of coyote hunting out back at his place. So, hopefully. Um, buddy of mine bought some new property, 10 acres. I gave that a shot this year out in uh, Eaton Rapids area. Um, Saturday morning, I went in a little bit late, seen one run away as I was going in. Other than that, didn't really say anything there. Uh, that, that might be down the road a promising spot. Um, on the way home from work one day, there's a deer side road. It was still alive. Someone left it lay there. Three busted legs. Called the cops. Put it down. Yeah, that's my sausage and jerky and whatnot. So, yeah, had uh, had a good year this year. A really good year. Um, if I would have tagged that button buck as a buck and the, sh and the buck that I had shot and the doe. I would have tagged out for the first time, but I, the button buck, he was under three inches, so I used a doe tag. So I used two doe tags and a buck tag, and I finished the season with one, so I, I didn't tag out. But that would have been cool to tag out. So four, year, four deer this year, three that I shot, and uh, one road kill. Last year it was uh, two road kill and two shot deer. So hey four for four so I had a great season this year great season um, so we're gonna do better next year hopefully with with uh, video taping uh, deer hunting yeah and uh, thanks for watching if you like subscribe share leave comments I appreciate it uh, 44 subscribers on YouTube so far uh, check out my Instagram, Thomas underscore Babcock underscore Junior. Um, check that out. I just posted a video this morning of a project that I finish up. And I got two more that I got to finish up. Now the hunting season's over with, holidays are over with. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, it's really been a good year, blessed, all that. So I'm um, going to try to get another video out next week. So you guys be blessed and we'll be seeing you.